What do you think? Have you noticed something? What? Are they two left feet? Didn't you measure his hooves? I tried, but every time I sat him on the stool, he fell off. A vast and in there! I hope you're still working, and no slacking! Oh, dear. Sorry about that. He didn't like people creeping up on him, you see. Yeah, give me that crutch. Give it you. There you go. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me it was broken? You never asked. Move the tongs, Barry. Oh, steady, steady, steady. What shall I do with this? It's red hot. Put it somewhere safe. OK. Sit yourself down and be comfortable. There you go. Sorry about that. Does it smart? Not half as much as this will. Oh dear. Oof. Hello, yeah. Be careful now. Not your day, is it? There, there. <laughs> Just look at the state of me. And I'm supposed to be going to France later. France? Maybe Barry and I should go with you. We've heard that there's smugglers around these parts. Smugglers? Yes. They sail across to France in the dead of night and bring back their parcels of lace, watches and brandy. Really? When are you going? Midnight. I'm bringing back a parcel of, of uh, uh, a horse hair uh, for my auntie. Uh, she wants a ponytail. Oh. What's wrong with English horse hair? She wants a French pleat. Ah. And I don't need any help from you two, thank you very much indeed. Get back in there and get that fire going. And no slacking. <laughs> Smugglers! You seen any? Uh, no, 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 no. Good. No. I'm your new customs and excise man, Ebenezer Bent Parcel, and I'll have no smugglers on my patch. Well, I'll certainly keep an eye out. Good man. Oh! Ah! You spellows! Wah! No, still not working. Oh, forget it. Now listen, me lads. I've been thinking. Maybe I was a bit hasty earlier. I think I'll let you go to France after all. Great. Does this mean there'll be a suitable remuneration? What's that? A rise. I'm not sitting down. You'll be meeting a man called Dan Levan. He'll give you a packet and I want you to bring it straight back to me. Don't worry. We'll be there before you say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson? Give us a chance. Now you better get a nice rest because it's a long road to France. You hear that, Barry? You better get a nice rest. You've got a long road to France. Come on. Hang on. Who said I'm rowing? Who said what? I'm rowing. Well volunteered. <laughs> One more thing, boys. I want you to keep your wits about you. I don't want my stuff falling into the hands of footpads and vagabonds. Rest assured, Captain. We'll protect it with Barry's life. By the way, where will we be sailing from? It's a little spot not far from here. It's called Smuggler's Creek. <laughs> Home and dry. Home and a bit damp, anyway. And not a single footpad or vagabond in sight. Hold it right there. Oh. Spoke too soon. Quick, Barry. Run. What's the rush? Been a bit of trouble with the footpad. He didn't follow you, did he? No, I don't think so. All right. I'm looking for two men. Hmm. Can't say I've seen him. What about you two? No, no, no. I knew they had him just now, but they gave me the slip. But I wouldn't worry. They can't have gone far. That was him. It was him, was it? You don't think he's trying to get his hands on your package, do you? No, oh, he could be. You better get out of here quick. What about a lie down? I'll have one after you've gone. 
Now take Trelawney there, and deliver it to this address. OK. OK. Why do you call the donkey Trelawney? I named him after my grandmother. Ah. Oh. Does she like carrots as well, then? No, she had a face like a mule. Oh. Now get out of here and no slacking. What have you stopped for? It's not me, it's Trelawney. We'll get him moving. <coughs> Come on, Trelawney. <coughs> he won't budge. We've no time for messing about with donkeys that won't budge. I'll show him who's boss. <coughs> I think he already knows. <coughs> We better get out of here, come on. Hey, I've been thinking. If we found something to use as bait, Trelawney might cooperate a bit more. Bait? Like what? A carrot. If we dangle it in front of him, he might walk towards it. Hmm. I've got a better idea. What? If we get a carrot and I dangle it in front of him, we could get him to move. Didn't I just say that? Don't know, I wasn't listening. Come on. <laughs> Contraband. Well, my big eared friend, they'll be coming back for this, I think. Don't you? They look stupid. They act stupid. But what if they're not? What if they've made off with my goods? All I said was. Maybe we should have made sure the package was safe before we left Trelawney. And all I said was you should have told me earlier. I did tell you earlier. Not earlier enough. Aha! Oh, not again! Oh, quick, Beard! Come here, you horrible pair. Gotcha. What's that on the donkey's back? Fair. Not that. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Are you threatening me? The donkey doesn't like people sneaking up behind him. Oh, yeah? Then what's he going to do about it? Kick me over the head? <laughs> Quick, Barry, get the package. We should be safe in here for a while. So, we meet again. Robespierre! What are you doing here? I have always wanted to run my own English, uh, as you say, public convenience. No, I think you mean public house. I know what I mean. So, what have you got in your hand? Um, nothing. The other hand? Nothing either. What is in the package? Oh, this. Oh, it's just some cakes and cookies for my poor sick grandmama who lives in a cottage in the middle of the forest. That's all I could think of. Give it to me. No, we said we'd never let it out of our sight. I suppose we could just close our eyes for a minute. Never! I'll defend it to the end. I must warn you, monsieur, you're dealing with a chuckle. And you, sir, are looking at the finest blade in all of France. And you, sir, are looking at the finest carrot in all of England. Is he always like this? Most times. I suppose you think that's funny. Now, hand over the package.
I must say, it has been most agreeable to meet you again. But now it is time to take my leave. <laughs> Drop the package, citizen! Come on, you! Yes. That's it! Come on, table, honey! Come on, you! There you are! Uh oh! Thank goodness you've arrived, sir! Why are you talking like that? I'm the Duke of Billingsgate, don't you know? He is not! Uh -huh. I've been looking for you. Join the club. Where's my stuff? Yeah. I don't mind telling you, it's been a lot of trouble keeping that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, it's all there. All right, all right. Where is it? What? There was a watch in there. There wasn't. There was. There wasn't. There was. Was there? Yes. Well, if you haven't got it, then who has? Robespierre! Duke, which way did they go? Oh, Robespierre, we've come for a watch. What do you want to see? We want our watch. Quick, buddy. So. On guard, monsieur. Monsieur Robespierre, which one is it under? The quickness of the eye deceives. Aha, now you see, now you don't. Which one? Take your choice. Technically, that's cheating. Quick, Manny, catch! Oh, sorry. It's in the jug. Not that one, the other one. Well, I don't know. Got it! Gotcha! Mine, I think. Yours? Yes, finest French watch, this. Is it indeed? In that case, you're under arrest for smuggling. As for you two, it seems I may have misjudged you. It seems you are just simple idiots. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fancy him being a smuggler, eh? Yeah, who'd have thought today? Have you got the time? Hmm. Big hands on twelve, the little hands on four. Half past two. Funny. Seems more like tea time. Right there. 